Isaac. Hi, I'm Disa, and we're here at Globe Arenas to meet the most important person for the Eurovision Song Contest production. Well, maybe not the most <laughs> important person, but hi, I'm Oscar. So we are now under the stage, entering the uh, audio underworld. Oh. Right, okay, so this is right below the actual action. Yeah. So if there was an orchestra, where would that be? Though? It would be here. Here? Our little electronic oh, orchestra. Ah, this is the orchestra. It's turned off though. Uh, the whole show is running out of time code. Mm -hmm. And that time code comes from the orchestra oh. or from the um, backtrack machine. Okay, so this is the master track. It, it is. Uh, lights, content, um, actually the camera things. Mm -hmm. um, I like that kind of master slave setup. <laughs> the audio is actually king. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Here we got all the uh, radio mics receivers, and we got a guy called Jan Hering from Germany that keeps track of all the frequencies mm -hmm. and are scanning the um, all frequencies all the time to see if there's a press coming in with wireless microphones or something that will disturb our uh, yes. performance. We've doubled up everything. Okay. So uh, we've got redundancy on uh, all desks, all computers, all personnel. Oh. But there are two transmitters transmitting on two different frequencies. Okay. So if, uh, if we get an uh, interference on one of the um, frequencies, it Can will automatically change to switch the to oh. the other one. So. so do the artists usually bribe you or try and make really good <laughs> connections with you? No. They don't bribe it. Okay. No, but usually I can't tell. Do they? Do they <laughs> of course, secrets. But, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> so here we've got uh, all the handheld microphones. Oh. As I told you earlier, we've got two badges. Right. A badge, a B badge. We've got some special ones. Oh, is that for Pietra Mede? No, it's a Serbian. They uh -huh. bought their own. Gold. Oh wow. Of course. Okay. <laughs> so you've got lots of extra microphones here. Uh, probably backups. Does anybody of the of the artists actually want to do this? Drop the mic, do the floor. No, they're not. They're not allowed to. Okay. Because uh, the stage is made of glass. Oh. Right. So now we're right, right at the center of the of the main Globe Arena auditorium, and uh, behind us, out of view, is is the secret stage. There's lights, but also more importantly, the loudspeakers. The loudspeakers. Well, we choose them to use the uh, K2s or because they've got something called K louvers, mm -hmm. so you can actually um, change the dispersion of it, the okay. horizontal dispersion. Uh, we also got some L acoustic kudos as backfills for the ones sitting beside the stage. Yeah, yeah, because you have the audience all on around. all levels. Yes, we have on all levels, and we've got and two thousand, two thousand something standing here on the oh. floor. When we hit the weight limit in the roof. Yes. Oh. Every department was asked, is there anything you can do to lower your weight? Yes. Oh. Yeah, and because it must be quite heavy. Yeah, so what we did, we changed the subs. So six of these Martin subs do mm -hmm. the same thing as 16 of the SP28. Mm. So we m earned nearly a ton per side in weight. Oh, oh wow. And How many tons are you allowed to put up here? Hundred something. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah, so that's the, that's the end of an awesome tour and well, can you tell really that the, the globe is already bulging down by a few centimeters because of all those things in the roof? Really? Yeah. That's a story for another day though. I guess. <laughs>